So I decided to dress in my coat of many colors today because why not? We're celebrating. Celebration. So hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in today. Today is a very special video because I am sitting down to have a one-on-one -on -one with my beautiful 500 plus subscribers and many more people that are going to be tuning in to watch this very special episode. Quickly, let me ask, <laughs> do you know the feeling of when someone, say a family member randomly sent you money do you know that feeling? Do you know the way you jump? Do you know, especially as an independent lady, I'm not talking about people that are still collecting allowance and pocket money, no. Single lady, single guy. That's the way I feel right now with 500 plus soldiers behind me. You guys, <laughs> some days I wake up and my heart just do <clears throat> Am I the one that they're subscribing to? Some days I wake up to five more subscribers overnight. Some days I wake up to take overnight, like overnight, overnight. I'm like, <laughs> so it's a very good time for me to make a very special video dedicated to my subscribers to say thank you for each and every one of you that has subscribed, that has decided to come on this journey with me. Someone asked, 500 subscribers, is that even more to celebrate? Yes. Every single one subscriber here on this channel is worth celebrating for me because I know the kind of work. Guys, YouTube, I easy. Anybody can tell you that. YouTube is not easy. It takes a lot of hard work to gain one subscriber. Like, you know what you must have done. But not to talk of, you pass 100, you pass 200, pass 400, and you're at 500 that's a whole round figure right there so it's a huge thing for me it's a, it's a huge thing as entrepreneurs you know sometimes we hit a milestone and we are quick to get onto what's next forgetting to actually take a pause to appreciate the little wins before we begin to talk about the big wins so here is me saying <laughs> i don't want to get emotional here is me saying a very big thank you for each and every one of you that has decided to come on this journey with me. I deeply, deeply appreciate you all have changed my life in many ways. YouTube as a platform has changed my life in, in a beautiful way. One of the significant things about my growth here on YouTube is that when I first started out, you know, some videos, my, I might have, for example, if I have like 100 views in a video, within first 24 hours i might be seeing like just five likes on the video but currently in, i have way more views on my videos like the way people quickly like my videos before i even have up to 100 views i'm already seeing 10 likes 15 likes 20 likes like i actually get emotional behind the camera a lot i'm like wow Finally, this my YouTube dream is becoming highly realistic, actually. So I know someone is going to be wondering why am I so passionate about this YouTube platform? Actually and honestly, YouTube has been my dream life since I was in uni. I only started um, doing full time here on YouTube last year. I really loved the idea of you know, filming, editing sharing and i know that is something that i am gifted and skilled at it is one thing that i love more than eating if you get what i mean like i can be so engulfed in the process of filming editing and you know all of that and even forget about food like <laughs> that's how much i love what i do here you might be interested in knowing my youtube journey you know how i've been able to build my channel to this point i am going to get to all of that in case also you are a creator or an aspiring creator watching this video right now keep watching because i'm going to be dropping a lot of vital tips that's going to help grow your channel so still on my youtube journey hasn't been the smoothest sale like going viral from the first video kind of thing obviously I didn't go viral for my first video and I, I, I haven't even gone viral, by the way. Achieving this milestone, 500 subscribers has affirmed to me that there is nothing that 
I cannot achieve. There is nothing that any human being cannot achieve so long as we put our mind to it. I put in a lot of work to be here, honestly. I've worked my ass off. Building this channel from a scratch and growing up to this point has taught me a lot of things, has taught me resilience. Time has put the love I have for this job on a scale and actually <laughs> weighed it. I'm like, yo girl, I'm going to find out if you really love this thing that you're doing. Like, time has taught me patience. Time has taught me to be better at my craft thumbnail crafting my titles better at telling stories in my confidence in my maturity better in affirming that this is really what i want to do i've met amazing people that i haven't even seen in person but you know in the comments you know people show me love people really make me feel like you know they actually enjoy my content and i, I am so grateful for that and i want to ask you all for one thing very simple just asking that you come on this journey with me you know be my ride or ride i am going to keep transitioning as i go on this journey you know if you look back on my channel my first video second video third video there is a lot more difference based on the content ideas around there even down to this point the difference is there because you know as human beings i'm transitioning and the phases that i go through in life actually reflect on the kind of content that i put in for example i moved into my new apartment and the last couple of videos has kind of like been around here you know living alone settling in new apartment in it, in it so yeah also let me know the kind of videos that you would love to see from me especially around my niche but then i realized that you guys really love my bloggy vlogs <laughs> living alone vlogs <laughs> so to any creator watching me and everybody no knowledge is a waste i have a few tips that has helped me so far i don't have all the experience i've only been just a year here but i have a lot of experience that is going to help growing channels the first thing is the passion for me my passion for youtube started with me binging youtube videos actually and coming to the conclusion that you know what i could actually do this i would say i binge a lot of youtube channel of videos because when you binge a particular creator they kind of like influence your style and i don't want that i want to keep my unique style but aside from watching videos like i scroll to see video ideas i scroll to see trending videos to see videos on other channels that has performed well that i myself can actually create in my own way you're going to learn a lot of editing a lot of ways to tell stories especially when you're just starting the second tip that i'm going to be giving you is do not just upload and sky no pay attention to your analytics download youtube studio app that is where you're going to see your analytics in terms of for example your click-through rate that is how many people click to watch my videos out of a hundred out of a thousand because when you upload a video youtube keeps pushing your videos gradually some they push it very fast sometimes you see 5,000 impressions the impressions is like how many people have seen your videos you see all of that in the analytics out of that 5,000 how many people actually click which you know for it, the performance is relative i would say it's too low or too small because like for example a small channel may not be expected to get all of that click but then Changing up something in the title or in the thumbnail might do the magic. So pay attention to your analytics. You learn on the job. Make sure that there is something unique about your title and your thumbnail. Something intriguing. Something that I want to make people to. I want to click in and know what's happening here. E-F-F-O-R-T. Effort. In editing, in storytelling, they appreciate it. So don't be a lazy creator. Put in the work. Edit your videos. Craft your... Be... Evo be better each video do you get what i'm saying these are the things that actually drive people to subscribe make all those videos this is the time for you to actually turn out videos you don't have any audience that you're going to put off do all ideas that come to your head they are worth filming okay film them titling the video in a catchy way is very important so i came across this particular site that has helped me in a few times to come up with a better presentation for my title i'm going to leave it on the screen and of course 
in the description box. The site is absolutely free. It's an AI title generating website. Click in your own title then. The site is going to bring out a lot of AI generated titles. Then you pick out from any of them. End screen and cards. These two things are linked to previous videos that you can find a way to attach in the video that you want to upload next. So, and whenever you want to upload a video, make sure that you do that using a browser. That is actually when you can be able to attach the end screen and the cards. Go to your YouTube homepage. You're going to see like a pen icon. Then copy your channel URL. Open a browser. I use Safari. Paste the link. Small arrow. Then choose the video that you want to upload. When you choose the video, there are four segments that are going to appear on the upper part of your screen. Then click on video elements and you see end screen and cards. That is where you're going to select. Either I want to put a video, two videos or a video and subscribe or playlist. Then drag it. You can adjust it to any length you want it to end. Then save. I am almost a year here on YouTube and I have 500 and something subscribers. Like don't come to YouTube with the mindset that, oh, I want to upload my first video and go viral. It may work for you. It may not work for you. So if I... <laughs> if it doesn't work for you, you have to be patient. At the end of the day, that dedication to the art, to the process, is actually worth it. For me, I love challenges because it gives me what to do. And I know that at the end of the day, I have to conquer it. Like, whenever I set my mind on something that I want to conquer this thing, I'm going to put in all it takes at the time and at the time, and you're going to hit a very significant milestone, just like I did. So, don't be hasty at all. The next thing I'm going to touch on is consistency. I've mentioned it earlier, right? So if you are taking YouTube as a career, one of the things that you have to ensure that you do is to be consistent. At least post once a week. Another thing about consistency is that it's not really just about, you know, how often you upload a video. Be consistent in your personality vibe that you want to bring to YouTube. By being consistent, your viewers are going to take you a lot more seriously. See the need to even subscribe. And then with that, YouTube is going to also take you seriously as well and begin to push you. You have higher chances of gaining your audience faster when you are very consistent with your uploads. Those are the few highly important ones I want to focus on this video. Maybe later on, I am going to share more for you guys. But I don't take it too long, okay? Thanks for watching. Please make sure that you sub support this channel. Make use of the super chat. That is the heart icon beside the comment box. I don't have it now. I don't have the icon now because I haven't hit the... 3000 watch hours milestone alongside my 500 subscribers which are the two important criteria to activate the super chat but whenever it comes on do well to make use of that okay support this channel and of course subscribe and watch me blossom watch me transition into something amazing that is going to keep you glued so don't go anywhere i'll see you in my next one bye